So let's move on to the defence now for our end of season player reviews. Let's start with the Portuguese uh, international Cedric. He came in in the summer. Nick, what do you remember and what do you uh, summarise his performances this season, mate? Well, it's a strange one, really. Uh, why, why Cedric suddenly was, you know, left out. Uh, he started the season a little bit dodgily at Newcastle. Uh, he then adapted and he was looking to be, in my opinion, to become a very good, strong player. He played 23, 21 games at the start of the season, the majority of them apart from injury. And then all of a sudden he was out of the team and then in the last 10 games only played two of them. Now, I just couldn't fathom it. I mean, Martina came in and did improve a little bit later on, but he wasn't the player that Suarez is. And it was interesting to see, or strange to see, that I think it was the Guardian had Suarez in its Premier League team of the year. And that they based most of it on stats. But, for, but he, he'd won, he was in the top 20 tacklers in the entire Premier League of tackles won. He was in the top four for both, of fullbacks for both uh, passes and cro- crosses made and chances created in games. So the stats were there. And, and it's strange. I thought he was coming on as a player. And I, I, I really thought in March time, after we'd had gone sort of six games, winning every game apart from one and not letting a goal in, but he was starting to look the part. Mm. But then he's suddenly out of the team for no apparent reason. Yes. You know, and I, I can't fathom that. And, you know, I would have said for his performance in the first half of the season that he was an eight. I thought he was starting to lay the ghost of Nathaniel Klein to rest and, and looking a quality player. But something's gone on and Ronald Koeman didn't agree with me and, you know, that's strange. Clive, uh, summarise Cedric's performance for us this season, mate. Would you, would you give him out of ten? Oh, give him out of ten? I'd, I'd like to give him a, an eight, actually. I, I'm very impressed with Cedric because early doors, he took some batterings physically mm. and he got up and got on with it, which, you know, for a foreign player coming into the big league is is pretty impressive. So He was quite so, scrappy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was scrappy. And, and I think early doors, his problem probably was he was going forward a bit too much and leaving his position behind him. Mm. And I think Ronald was a bit not impressed with that um, but then he came back so strong and, and like Nick says I, I find it very difficult to fathom out why he didn't feature towards the end of the season yeah. because he, he was going through a pretty good spell I mean um, and, and always going forward is a blimmin good cross over the ball he's in the Portuguese national team yeah. uh, going to the Euros so yeah strange one I hope we keep him I hope we keep him I hope he stays part of part of Saints because I've been very impressed with him so yeah, I, I really like Cedric as a player. I think he's, he's very positive. Um, but I, I'm, I'm baffled to, to know why um, it changed. But hey, who's asked a question when we win four out of four at the end? Yeah. So yeah. there you go. Well, there you have it, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you would give Cedric Suarez out of 10 this season. And leave us your thoughts. Uh, is Cedric a, a, a first choice for you at right back over Martina? Subscribe for more. Now's your chance to win yourself a very own ugly inside t-shirt northern soul or a red and white machine t-shirt all you've got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the youtube channel and just leave us a comment in any single video and we'll pick out one of our favorites in a couple of weeks time